On the Upper East Side of Manhattan, two brothers are building a business around the thing they love the most. My name's Sean Gorelick. And I'm Frank, his brother. And where are we today? This is Brothers Guitar Shop. We specialize in used instruments. So people are, you know, bringing instruments in, trading, and we're buying and selling. Where we started is from repair. We've been playing guitars for many years, and we started tinkering with our own guitars in the back of our hardware store. Just a little desk back there. But sooner or later, we got overwhelmed. We had guitars hanging all over the place. <laughs> you know, we had to make moves and make moves quick. You're the only shop really of your kind in this area. I I'd like to say that we're the only shop of its kind in all of New York City, really. Other guitar stores in New York, a lot of them are or real vintage shops, so you go in, it's like a museum. You know, you're scared to touch anything and you don't even want to ask questions. And you know, we are completely not like that. You know, we are happy to have people come in that are first time players. We sit down with them, we teach them chords. And you know, it's, it's really about growing the community of musicians and getting people into music. The Upper East Side has a lot of young people, students, so there has to be a place that they can get excited about. You go to school around here? Yeah, so um, if I have an hour break, I'll just come down here in between classes. This is the only way that I've been learning, and it's the best way to learn because the best people to play with, it's just a great community. And it's such a, a vibe in here. Everyone's jamming and hanging out. It seems like you've created kind of a living room. A big part of this is having musicians from the neighborhood being able to network somewhere. Especially at a time like right now, people are eager to connect with people, and that's the idea behind this place. We've always admired musicians. We've always admired rock and roll. Sean and I went to all the guitar stores in New York City in one day and <laughs> introduced ourselves, you know, just to grow the community. So you guys have been working together forever, is that right? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I was running around the hardware store when I was in short pants and <laughs> go on the same thing. Is and, there a sibling rivalry? <laughs> you know, I'd rather see my brother every single day than anybody else. The strengths that I have and strengths that he has, our work ethic, it comes from our father. You know, he, he instilled that in us. We have developed a lessons program for all skill levels. I really admire your ambition. Just the store is not enough. I mean, we, nothing is ever enough. Oh man, the ideas, <laughs> the ideas, like we don't sleep at night. Yeah. We have guitars ranging from $150 to several thousands of dollars. And that's what's really cool about guitars that, that there's so many flavors and so many different styles and we can all have our own taste. Do you have any personal favorite that's in the collection right now? You, you know, today it's one favorite. The this next is my favorite, favorite of the day. Okay. Of the day. <laughs> that's a great thing about owning a guitar shop that I have unlimited guitars to my disposal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you my favorite of the day? Please. This. That is the most oh, beautiful thing I've ever so seen. Cool. And I really like the details. What do you think is your favorite thing about the guitar as an instrument? Ever since I figured out what the guitar was, I was in love with it. <laughs> Always. And, and, uh, and listen, everyone wants to rock. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah, wants yeah. to rock.